Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here in the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series in which we're playing as the Cult of Liberty. So at the time of this recording, there was an update for Old World Blues which consolidated some of the uh, Canadian nations. So we no longer have things like Ant or Wasp um, over here. Now it's called Middlemark. Um, but we're playing as a Cult of Liberty which used to be Havre? 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 We're led by uh, Rihanna Robertson. And we do have a generic focus tree, but we have the generic focus tree expanded uh, somewhat on currently. But about her. Let her voices echo across the wasteland, reaching the ears of the lost and broken. Let them know that America's wings stretch wide, ready to show to protect all who seek redemption. In her unity, we shall forge a new era where the world is bathed in the radiant glow of America's grace. Trust in her, my brother, for she shall uh, deliver us from the depths of darkness and the embrace of hope. And the daughter of a religious woman and a member of Zack's company, love and war go hand in hand for this young woman, spreading the belief of America and I like wildfire. Through leadership, liberty is spread across Havre, overthrowing a previously hereditary mayoral government system and replacing with more chaos. Chaos in which many organizations have found peace in, lending to their great support of the cult and Rihanna's continued efforts after the death of her mad father, the founder of the cult, based on the misconception and twisting of her mother's beliefs. Sometimes called liberty or libertas day, Americana is a belief in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. As well as America, not the state of guidance, but an angel sent by God in order to create uh, to spread prosperity to the American people. Captured and taken away by the darkness that the Great War brought, the cult's goal is to rid the world of this darkness and its wars in order to bring back their angel through any means necessary. So, currently war with stormmongers, they declared war on us, which was um, an event. Uh, I think it's going to come right now. now maybe. Um, so we're just kind of hanging out. We're trying to circle the divisions. It is July of 2075, and we're we're definitely struggling. Um, I'm not sure how long this campaign is going to last because we are very bad on research or tech tech levels. We're at best, basic. Oh, God. Um, so hopefully these guys don't move around too much and we can continue to encircle and destroy these divisions because they are actually pretty darn tanky. So, if not, oh, we got one done. Yay, we got one done. Yay. Get over there. Um, so the most important thing is just encircle. Yeah, dang it. So I don't know how well we're actually going to be doing here. We might not do that well, but um, we're here having a good old time. And also we have natural spirits, the beast of America. Oh, it's not bad. Do you not tire of the enclave's constant prattling, prattling about duties to your supposed country? Or what about the newfound brotherhood of steel in the east? Do you want them to make, take it possessions? Do the ruminators in the peace anger you too? Then the call to liberty offers its hand in full. A market does not wait for the uncertain man to be, uh, to be certain of his faith before he enacts for justice. It's in the holy now that we can make a divine future. Middlemark trade relations. Middlemark trades with us to preserve American interests. Despite the raiders who are employed at the store, the loyalty of this company means we enjoy a healthy trade relationship. We have idealists, of course. And we're rebuilding. Just straight on rebuilding. You know, just go there and do that. Um, you hold. Uh, actually, at this point, can you actually just hold here? Should be able to. And they're taking more divisions. And more, more tiles, I should really say. These guys have a lot of divisions, which is ridiculous. Let's go there. Let me just go there. And these guys are actually relatively decent. They got they got all sorts of support companies and whatnot too. It's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, this is. Yeah, we're de with this with this nation. We definitely have to use cons commands because we we just can't beat these guys. They have way too many divisions. I mean, we have thirteen, but a lot of our guys are actually military to start. And I think the us the cult of liberty is just a nation to die early on. Like there's nothing we can really do about it. So yeah, we'll be seeing you once we uh fully get rid of them. Totally not using cons commands. <laughs> All right, everyone. So at this point, uh, you can't play as Cold of Liberty. They, it's literally impossible. MacArthur declared war on us for the Stormmongers' territory, um, and I had used console commands to take out the Stormmongers, and I used console, console commands once again to, uh, well, uh, basically delete all of MacArthur's divisions because there's no way this nation can ha handle power armor at all. L literally, com just cannot handle it whatsoever. Um, I consolidated a bunch of divisions just because we we taking quite a few casualties. Um, and like I said, I delete other divisions because we can't, we just can't compete. Cult of Liberty, I, I know they're going to be reworked in the future. I know the devs have got quite a few plans for Canada and whatnot, but, I, and this is brand new too. Cult of Liberty is brand new-ish. Um, but uh, it, you can't play this nation. It's impossible. Especially when you start off against the Stormmongers and then try to fight these guys when they have Enclave power armor, or you know, at least some, de some degree advanced power armor. It, it's just, you just can't. You really just can't. Also, they did take out Yellowstone too, and we had a distraction by them taking out Yellowstone as well. And even then, we couldn't do any of this stuff. So, uh, yeah, um, not ideal to do it like this. 
but there's literally nothing I can do. There's no, nothing anybody can really do um, about that. Uh, we could try out maybe one more nation to beat up, even though we're probably going to get the crap smacked out of us. Um, just to say, we did it. You know, we might just go to war with Nitsit a pi a pi a pi. Actually, yeah, Middlemark. We're training with Middlemark. What about Safe Haven? How strong are they? Uh, they actually might be a better bet against them, maybe. But yeah, I apologize for using comms commands. It's just this nation's not ready yet. Um, and they will be eventually. Once they get a unique focus tree and once they get a more development here, even though I think the, at the time it's recording, the next update will be for the Caribbean Islands, I think. Since Mexico's already done, I think the devs are focusing on the Caribbean Islands next, if I remember correctly, which I might not be, but I think I am thinking correctly about that. Let's see. Do we at least have... Where are we? Nope. Over here. Um, uh, yeah, we definitely don't have one division per tile. Then again, we don't know how many... What they like up there. But in the meantime, I mean, even though we, we're losing a whole bunch, I did make these guys 20 combat width. Uh, we have no map bars, as you can see. Um, we actually have enough guns. Demo equipment's okay, and anti tank is actually doing decently, so... We were able to get this up pretty high in terms of compliance as well. And we might as well go in court. Why not? There's almost nobody here. But I was going to justify and see what their divisions are like real quick. And see if we can do anything against them. And we have a cup of coffee here too. Alright, so I do have a few divisions. Two divisions. Just infantry. See, we can fight just infantry. I'm not worried about just infantry. They have some enforcers, so I'm not super worried because we have anti-tank. And they have a special force division. I mean, we need more manpower, but you know, what else is new? God dang, we can't go there yet. That's good. That's why we're doing this right now, just for an immediate manpower boost. Hurts our stability a little bit, but whatever. Really over here, not so much it'll benefit us immediately. Experience diplomat, uh, head position, uh, group of population 10% more, but it's not going to be that much more. I think just coring would help out a little bit more too. 92% over here. Huh. Yeah, we're almost there for that. We have 10 divisions, it's not bad. And we need one more division there. They don't have a division on every single tile like us. We're missing two, three, three divisions. Three tiles, really. That help pour this a little bit faster. Be done soon, too. Oh, when? Oh, Great Falls is an economic node. Oh. I don't know about that. There you go. Um, I don't want to poop you up just yet. We'll do that. Force them to come out at least to get those two divisions out. And then go back down to one more. Because we need at least one division per tile. Because they have two tiles that are open too. Give them a little bit of time to hang out there, recruit caravan guards. And the arms workshop, sure, why not? Support equipment, all the stuff that we need down here. Yeah. That'll be good. There you go. We look to go to every cap of the army. Two year conscription is what we need. While I'm searching, this is probably a bad idea. And. Okay, can't do that. Yeah, you have no manpower, you don't have industry, you don't have technology. You really have nothing down here. I don't think we can do very much about this. Oh, two towels, I guess, technically up here. Can we do anything about that? Because if not, I'm going to have to use Gons Commands twice. I don't mind using it again then. Whatever. We're probably going to get encircled here, probably. Let's go here. Avoid them as best and as much as you possibly can. We are about to get encircled, probably. 40% is not good. You can pierce them, though. Um, yeah. This is not bad over here, though. If it just sucks. Yeah, it looks like we're going to use cons commands for these guys. Once again, so like I said, Call of Liberty, not a great nation to play as right now. 
And there we have it. Totally didn't use any cons commands. Yeah, Total Liberty is impossible to play right now. <clears throat> Would not recommend. But I'll come back to this nation someday. I, 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 I'm pretty sure I will. I want to actually get an update. But I wanted to try them out now to see what they're like. Especially to see like the nations of the, uh, Canada, which were basically formed to consolidate a lot of other nations, like I said at the beginning of the video. But as of right now, as of, what was it, mid-July 2023, Total Liberty can't really play as them yet, because it's impossible, like I said. But if you enjoyed the video, regardless, well, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.